Today on Forbes, how this startup is using 10 million patient records to reduce bias in healthcare AI. Heart failure can be tricky for doctors to diagnose. Some patients won't find out their heart isn't pumping enough blood until they come into the emergency room with a heart attack. And it's more common for men to have the telltale chest clutching pain, while women's symptoms may be much more subtle, meaning they might go undetected for even longer. In 2023, cardiologist David Oyang developed an algorithm to try and catch heart failure earlier. It analyzes electrocardiograms, or ECGs, recordings of electrical heartbeat signals, to predict if a patient has heart failure, flagging them to the doctor so they get further testing. But Oyang, who works at Cedars sinai in Los Angeles, needed to be sure that the algorithm would be accurate for both men and women, as well as people of different races and ethnicities, or who live in different places, factors that can impact the symptoms of heart failure. In other words, he needed to make sure the algorithm wouldn't have any bias, a long-standing issue for algorithms that are trained using historical data from a limited number of people. If that data is not representative of all types of patients, then the resulting algorithm won't be accurate for everyone. To get answers, he turned to Dandelion Health, a startup that's working on a solution to help check for potential bias of this type in healthcare algorithms. Dandelion is creating a massive, de-identified dataset from millions of patient records so developers can build and test the performance of their algorithms across diverse types of patients. Oyang said working with Dandelion gave him, quote, more confidence that his algorithm is, quote, mature and ready to deploy. Opening up the black box of algorithmic decision-making and performance bias is an issue the Biden administration, software developers, and healthcare players are all grappling with especially given the speed of advancements in generative AI over the past year. But it could take years before President Biden's AI executive order translates into detailed regulation, creating an opportunity for companies like Dandelion to fill the void. Dandelion's founding team hopes they can help establish a framework for testing and validating healthcare AI while regulators play catch-up. To do so, the startup just closed a $15 million seed round led by Primary, along with Sharp Healthcare, Moxie Ventures, Phoenix Venture Partners, and Floating Point. The company declined to disclose the valuation. Dandelion co-founder and CEO Elliot Green told Forbes, quote, Over the last few years, billions and billions of dollars have gone into startups to build AI algorithms for clinical use. And the problem they're having now is actually selling them. The biggest thing that developers of health-related algorithms need is data on which to train and test their software to make sure it works. But getting that data is a challenge. Hospitals, which are required to protect the privacy and security of their patient records by federal law, can't go handing out data willy-nilly to every company that asks for it. This also means that many healthcare algorithms are being built on small and incomplete data sets, which means performance problems are being identified after they're already in use. So far, the company has struck deals with three hospitals to take the medical records of 10 million patients that appear in many different formats, electronic records, image files, waveforms, lab results, and de-identify and structure it so that researchers and software developers can train, test, validate, and eventually apply for regulatory clearance. Dandelion is intentionally inking deals with health systems across the country, including Sanford Health in the rural Midwest, Sharp Healthcare in urban California, and Texas Health Resources in cities and suburbs in the Southwest. Within the next year, Dandelion hopes to have partnerships with two more health systems for a total of 15 to 20 million patient records. For full coverage, check out Katie Jennings' piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.